Welcome. This next problem reads, cars X and Y leave the same place at the same time. Car X heads due east at 55 miles per hour. Car Y heads due north at 65 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the cars increasing after 1.2 hours? You may recognize this as a related rates problem and the first step in a related rates problem is to find the formula that relates the variables. It's always a good idea to make a sketch of what's going on and so we have uh, this car X that's traveling east which would be to the right and let's say after t hours it's traveled uh, x miles and, and then we also have car y and it's going due north and so after uh, y, uh, t hours let's say it's traveled y miles and the distance between the two is z and notice we have a right triangle here we better just write down what each of these variable stands for. So x is the distance from the start of where the uh, uh, car x started. So from the start of car x uh, at t hours or at time t. at time t. And then what is y? Well, y then would be the same, same thing. It's the distance from the start of, but in this case, car y at that same time, at time t. And then z is the distance between the two cars. So it's the distance is distance between the cars at that same time t. Okay, now we need to, we still haven't made up a formula that relates the variables, but we can do that easily here because we have a right triangle and what is the uh, formula that we have for right triangles? that relates the sides and the hypotenuse, the Pythagorean Theorem. And we will use the Pythagorean Theorem. And that is stated that one of the legs squared plus the other leg squared, in this case x squared plus y squared, equals the hypotenuse squared, equals z squared. So we have a formula that relates the variables. What is the second step? The second step is to take the derivative of both sides of the formula to express the rates. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides of the formula to express rates. Uh, in our problem we have uh, miles per hour for both car X and car Y and we want to know the the how fast the distance between the cars is increasing and that's also a rate so we need to take the derivative and that will give us the rates and we want to take the derivative with respect to time so we'll, we'll call that dt and so the derivative of x squared is 2x times dx dt plus and the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dt all with respect to t and also the derivative of z squared is 2z dz dt and it's the dz dt that we're after in this problem we want to know how fast the distance between the cars is increasing step three is to now plug in and solve for the unknown. 
and in our case the unknown is dz dt the distance the distance between the two cars how fast it is increasing so let's let's write down we know all everything else dx dt is the rate of change of car x which is the speed of car x which is 55 miles per hour and we can find out what uh, the distance x is by using the formula rate times time uh, car x is going at 55 miles per hour for 1.2 hours and that gives us a distance of my calculator says 66 miles and what what's dy dt well that's the speed of car y which was 65 miles per hour and the distance it travels will be the 65 miles per hour times 1.2 hours and we come up with 78 miles looks like we know everything except for the distance between the two cars after 1.2 hours but here comes the Pythagorean theorem again we have z squared equals x squared plus y squared uh, we know what x and y is and so we'll just plug in to find out what the distance between the two cars is z so we'll have 66 squared plus 78 squared and by the way the these uh, this question would be in the part of the AP exam where you're allowed to use calculators and so we'll find out that z squared is equal to 10,440 and then if we take the square root once again using our calculator we come up with z as being approximately equal to 102 so after 1.2 hours the cars are 102 miles apart now we have all the information we need to plug in and so let's just rewrite our uh, our equation again after we've taken the derivative of it which was 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 2z dz dt and begin to plug in so it's just 2 and uh, we found x to be uh, the distance x after 1.2 hours was 66 so 2 times 66 and then that is times the speed of car or the speed of car z x rather speed of car x which is 55 plus 2 times the uh, y distance which was 78 miles times the speed of car y which was 65 and then that is equal to 2 times the distance between the two cars which was 102 that's z and we're to find out what dz dt is so we've plugged in everything we need you notice that we have twos on both sides of the equation in each term on the left side and on the right side so we can cancel those out to just to make the arithmetic a little bit simpler and then once again using our calculator we come up with uh, adding first multiplying and then adding those two uh, products together we get 8700 equals 102 dz dt dividing both sides by 102 and we get approximately 85 for the value of dz dt and that is how fast the distance between the cars is increasing and that is in miles per hour so 85 miles per hour is our solution and there you have it we'll see ya